Okay, so for my Tech Tools project, I researched about iPads in the classroom. Uh, just this year, actually, my high school gave all students, 7 through 12, their own personal iPad. So that's kind of why I wanted to look into it. So obviously, with anything, there are pros and cons. First of all, an obvious one, an obvious con that is, um, students can be easily distracted on an iPad. They can easily access the internet, go on web pages that they aren't supposed to, and not pay attention during class. So that takes a teacher that is, needs to monitor that. It also takes responsible students. With technology, there's also always the possibility of having technical difficulties, whether it being an application not working, or a student not being responsible and forgetting to charge the battery. Obviously, if all of your work is on your iPad and it has a dead battery, you're gonna have a pretty hard time working throughout the school day. iPads can also be very expensive, but Apple does have a program that they work through schools with. Um, my high school did a program where they leased them and paid them off slowly. I also read an article about how having a full set of iPads isn't necessary in classroom. Just having one or two can make a huge difference. And again, responsibility of students. With all of your work in one place, it's easier to lose that one iPad than lose a notebook. So if you lost or your iPad or forgot it at home, like just like if you forgot to charge it, you'd have a pretty hard time working throughout the day. But there are also a lot of pros. iPads are obviously very interactive, so it can keep the students engaged as long as they're focusing on the correct activity. They lighten the weight of your load because all of your textbooks can be downloaded onto that one iPad. Uh, there are a variety of very user-friendly apps to make learning more enjoyable and fun and have creative projects. So with that, I'll go into some different apps that the iPad has that can be used, especially in a high school classroom. I'll start with one called Dragon Dictation. It is a voice recognized app, so you can speak and it will type what you're saying. This is really handy because a lot of people don't like typing on a touch screen and buying additional a Bluetooth keyboard can be kind of expensive. Next, there is the free graphing calculator app. I don't know about you guys, but I loved my graphing calculator, but it was also pretty expensive. So having the ability to have a free one on your school iPad would be really handy for math students everywhere. Next is Google Apps. So that is like your Google Drive, which has docs, um, a presentation, spreadsheets. You can have your email all that sort of thing straight from the home screen on your iPad so you don't have to open up Safari and access it through there. Next is iMovie. It'll make, it makes um, doing video presentations for a class a lot easier because you can film it, edit it, and send it all from the same device. Finally is Nearpad, Nearpod, excuse me, which is an application that kind of syncs iPads together, so the homeroom teacher would be able to access files on the students' iPads, kind of like how in schools, how all the computers are on the same network. That's the same sort of thing, except for iPads. And there is EduCreation. It allows you to record lectures um, uh, while using pens to write it down so you don't have to set up a video camera and actually videotape yourself talking. So that is basically a quick synopsis of how iPads can be used effectively in classrooms.